everyone, it's Clyde Vibrant Soap and today I'm going to be making a lavender essential oil blend soap and I'm keeping it really simple because I want my essential oil soaps to be on the simpler side. I made it very simple before with just a white soap and it's like tying my hands behind my back. I can't do it. I gotta add some color but just a little will keep me happy. So this soap has for the white, the titanium dioxide, and just a little bit of purple mica for the streaks of um, purple that swirl through it. And so I thought, mm, maybe I don't need a color tutorial. Um, I think just about any color in addition to white is going to make a simple and beautiful swirl. So you can do that with green, red, all the colors of the rainbow, and it'll work. So let's get on with the soap making. Okay, just do the usual thing and blend the oils and clay, sodium lactate, and the lye. So notice the color. It's going to look different on camera anyway, but it's a creamy light yellow. This is going to be all essential oils, so I'm going to make it with less color, but um, I can't resist putting a little bit in. So let's get the lye in there. Since I'm not going to be doing a lot of swirls, I'm going to get the fragrance in there and then the only color I'm going to add to this is some purple and another flare mica. So we'll see some sheen in that. There goes my blend, which is going to contribute to the yellow quality of the soap batter. And I'm blending it well because I know that, in my experience, the um, peppermint essential oil actually slows trace down a bit, so I'll have time to work with this. And I don't need the time to work with this, so I'm just going to blend it some more. And I'm going to blend it some more when I add the titanium dioxide and purple mica to it also, so I don't want to tempt fate. I can just make a little bit of purple. And that's it. You can really see the sparkle in that too. There's so much iridescence it looks like I don't have enough purple in there, but as I stir it, I don't know if you can see that. There's some darker streaks of purple, so I know it's purple enough. Then with the rest of this batter, I'm going to add my titanium dioxide. And I, I made it really thick with hot water. And if I make it thick and with hot water, I've been experimenting with um, trying something to get the glycerin rivers prevent that from happening and this has been um, I think this is the trick so don't you know the battery went out on me so this is thickened up so I'm gonna have to work with it a little differently if it's thicker I can still get a swirl in it but not quite as fine and yeah, let's get the purple blended too okay Get some streaks of purple in the white batter too. What I think I'm going to do is an in the pot swirl since my plants changed a little bit and that'll be just fine. It's still plenty loose enough to get it in there so just stir that in. That's not enough purple in there to even um, add any color to that so that's fine. Stir my purple Loosen that up. It's that nice sparkle to it. All right, so let's get some fine swirls in here. The finest I can get with the soap thickening up. So I'll just kind of get that around in there. Save a little for the top. Dig down deep. Two deep stirs, and then pour that.
white with little purple swirls like that. It's just so nice to look at. And I think it, since it's mainly white, it'll still get the uh, idea across that this is a more simple soap with the essential oils and a lot less color. And let's get the rest of this purple in there, which isn't much. I like drizzling the color on top of soap as evenly as I can so that when I take a chopstick to it, the color is pretty consistent. There we go. And this really smells great in here too. I love the scent of lavender and the mix of peppermint, eucalyptus, tea tree, all in one soap. Just makes it smell really fresh and natural. So that is the making of. Let's see what this looks like cut. Okay, now let's see what, see what this lavender essential oil blend looks like. I couldn't help myself, I had to put some color into it with some hopefully wispy bits of purple. And that's it. Still want to keep the essential oil soap. Relatively simple, but not totally white like I did before. I got good feedback on that, but I have to play with color. So, yeah, just enough color to make me happy, I think. smile for you. Color, at least for me and for a lot of people, does a little bit of a psychological thing to it too. It signals what the soap's all about. So since this is a lavender soap, it's nice to have some lavender purple in the soap. I always thought it'd be fun to make a, like an orange colored mint soap or like a red lavender soap just to mess with people. <laughs> I'm not that mean. That's unusual. That too, it's like writing. It smells something. No, it doesn't. That's my imagination. Wow, that's like sky riding. And that's my last cut. I'll cut the rest of it into smaller pieces for samples. Okay, that twist in there. So this is Clyde at Vibrant Soap, and again, thanks for watching and um, look me up on Instagram again, something new for me, but I realized again that that, um, what I look at, take photos of as I go out in little adventures really influences the way I look at color and how I get ideas for swirls and all that. So if you look at my Instagram, I recently took a trip and took pictures of koi ponds and the ocean, saw dolphins swimming. And that's all very relaxing for me too. So hope to see you there also. And thanks for the comments and visiting the website too. And we'll see you real soon, okay? Bye everybody. I also wanted to point out that there are no glycerin rivers in the soap. So I think I showed you how I mixed the titanium dioxide 
with a whole lot less water so it's almost like a, a cream and I mixed it with hot water and mixed it thoroughly put it in the batter and no glycerin rivers so um, I don't know if it's a definitive way of doing it but if you want to try it that way and see what happens and report back I'd love to know how that works for you so I'll show you what these soaps look like all cleaned up right after this.